Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over the new Teddy Bear palette from Too Faced. I'm gonna show you guys two different looks. The one that I'm wearing right now, more pinky, and then I also have a more bronzy look to show you guys as well. Then I'm gonna show you guys some comparisons. I'm taking pictures of palettes that you guys requested on my community page, as well as some that I just kinda of thought that I would show you side by side, just so that you guys know whether or not you already have these shades, more than likely you do. <laughs> and hopefully it'll help you guys decide along with my thoughts whether or not you wanna pick this up. So let's go ahead, open up this little box and get the little palette out because it is little. <laughs> I was not anticipating this size here. Like it's much smaller than their typical tin packaging. This is what the actual palette looks like. It is so stinking cute. Teddy Bear is actually raised on here as well as Too Faced. And then the Teddy Bear, it's just adorable. It is adorable. And then all the shade names are on the back. You do get a mirror on the inside. It's really thin. Like, so this is gonna be way easier, not way easier, but it's thinner, smaller, better for travel if you are somebody who travels with your palettes. But again, mirror, and then these are all of the beautiful shades. This is limited edition and retails for $45. It's clearly inspired by a teddy bear and then it says that it smells like honey graham crackers. I mean, I do smell it now, but I didn't smell it whenever I was applying the shadows, which is not normal because <laughs> all the other ones I feel like I can smell right away. This one, I feel like I have to stick my nose in it to smell it. So if you don't like the overwhelming smell, this is not overwhelming. I literally did not have any idea that this had a smell until I was reading the description. Now let me show you guys the swatches. For the first row, we have the Snuggle is Real, Fur Real, <laughs> Teddy Bear, Pot of Honey, Embarrassed, Lace Teddy, and Boop. And then for the second row, Bear It All, Mama Bear, Gilda Bear, Fuzzy Wuzzy, Press Paws, Stuffed, and Sharing is Caring. As I mentioned, this palette is smaller than their traditional tin packaging. So I'm just gonna show you, just run another cute one. <laughs> so you guys can see the size comparison. And then I was curious, I was like, is there a lot less product in here for almost the same amount? Because they tend to run between 42 and $49. So I looked it up and this one right here has 14.6 grams of product and then others have like the Sweet Peach, it has 17.1. This one has 17.1. The Pumpkin Spice Palette, it has 12.6 grams and that one was originally $49. So I think that it's kind of right consistently with the lines of the palettes. And I noticed that in this one, I don't know off the top of my head, another Too Faced palette that has these shades that are similar to Huda Beauty. That is who, I, in my head, that's the first person that did like these marbled shades. And there's two in here, this one and this one. So I don't know if that contributes to it, but I just wanted to mention that I thought that this was going to be much smaller than the other ones. But in reality, they seem to be between 12 and 17 grams, and this one's just under 15, so it's not a huge difference. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the two eye looks. I'm gonna start off with the bronzy eye, and then I will move on to this one. I'm gonna start off this look with Teddy Bear on a Wayne Goss number 17. I'm gonna go directly into the crease. This shade kind of reminds me of MAC Uninterrupted. Not quite the same, but I've been, I think I've been seeing this shade more and more recently in palettes, but I don't mind because I really like it. It's one of those warm shades that just kind of looks kind of grungy, and it's definitely one of my favorites. I have the original from MAC, and I, uh, I know they made it into a single small pan, but it's just not quite the same as the original Pro Long Wear Bigger Panned Uninterrupted. Picking up a little bit more, again starting in the crease. Go to inner to outer and windshield wiper motions. And then 
blending upward. Fur reel <laughs> on a refer 21. I'm gonna pack this on the front portion of the lid and I do get a little bit of fallout, but it's okay. I just wipe it away. I'm gonna build this up a little bit because I am using it dry. And I also want to bring it slightly up into the crease just so I don't have a super harsh line. Asum S33. Now I'm gonna pick up the shade Mama Bear. I think they stopped or are stopping making this brush and it makes me sad. But anywho, I am placing this on the outer corner where I have no product. Just kind of blending that right in. And I'm gonna smoke this upward just a little bit. Picking up a little bit more. Something about this formula feels a little different to me. I haven't been able to pinpoint it yet. Something feels just a little different. I'm dragging the excess just slightly over into the crease. Again, I'm just kind of smoking it upward a little bit. Same shade on a BOM 435 from Royal and Lang Nickel. I'm just running this right along the lower lash line. Fuzzy Wuzzy, <laughs> back in with the Esom S33. I can't be the only one that remembers the Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't Fuzzy Wuzzy. <laughs> oh, that makes me giggle. I am just deepening up this outer corner a little bit. Again, bringing it slightly into the crease. I'm lightly gonna take just a tiny bit of that lid shade. Just make sure that those merge together. Bear it all on an Esom W21. Take a little bit of this and highlight my brow arch just very lightly. Now I'm gonna take Pot of Honey on a MAC 228. I'm using this dampened and I'm applying it to the inner corner. Lastly, I'm taking Boop on a refer number three. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna go across about three quarters of my top lash line, and then I'm gonna go add on a liner and mascara. For the look that I'm wearing today, I'm gonna go in with the Snuggle Is Real on a refer 15. I'm gonna start placing this right into or right above the crease. I'm going to use this as a transition shade, but I'm not going to bring it all of the way in because I want to place another color there. As I'm going on in with this palette, I'm, I'm reading the names and they're so cute. They're so cute. I mean, Too Faced is kind of known for that type of thing, but I just, yeah, they're cute. I'm going to build this up just a little bit and it these are a little bit powdery, no big deal. Does not bother me at all, as long as I get pigment on my eyes. I don't think I brought this one up as high, so I was like, let's touch this one up. <laughs> then I'm gonna take Embarrassed <laughs> on a Wayne Goss number six. This pinky shade I'm going to apply on the inner portion. It's kind of funny, because it's pink, like you would turn pink, you're, you get all blushed and flushed whenever you get embarrassed. That's cute. Like I said, it's cute. I'm gonna bring this pretty far down and then blend the excess into the last shade and slightly out around the edge. Chikahoto T7 stuffed. I'm going to place this on the outer corner first. And then I'm going to start bringing it into the crease directly and then lightly blending. And this will merge into that pink, the embarrassed shade.
sharing is caring on a Royal Inlay Nickel BOM 435. I literally grabbed right around the edge of the bear because <laughs> I don't want to mess up the embossing like the pressed in bear. Not like pressed 10 with a T, but pressed with a two S's. Isn't there a bear called Preston? I feel like there is. I could be wrong, but I feel like there is. Just smoking out my lower lash line. Same brush going in with Stuffed. I'm going to place this a little closer to the lashes. Refer number two and Lace Teddy. I am pressing this onto the lid, right on the center, and slightly up into the crease. I am using this dry, by the way, but I did not set my primer. Press pause on an Esam W21. I'm going to place this on the front of the lid. And I definitely have to make sure I pick up enough pigment and build this up because it's not nearly as opaque as the other shade. But it does build up. Guild Bear on the same W21. I just wiped off the brush and then I turned it over. I'm using this to highlight and diffuse right underneath the brow arch. Lastly, I'm going in with Fuzzy Wuzzy, again using the BOM 435, and I'm lightly placing this right up against my lash line, and then I will go add on interim liner and mascara. And now I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts. There's some good and some, like, mediocre. I don't think this is the best palette that Too Faced has ever put out, but it's also not like the Christmas ones. <laughs> you know those ones, I swear, like, they just put the same thing out over and over and over again, and they're not the greatest quality. It's not like that, but the, the Too Faced gold palette, the melted gold, whatever that is, the chocolate golds, I don't even remember what it's called. I have it over there, but... That is one of the best ones, and I love the Born This Way. Let me grab that, because you guys were asking about that quite a bit with this palette. And here's the size comparison for this one as well. The Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes. You can see, but it's about the same thickness. I do have a picture of these side by side, but I'm going to show you this way as well. You can see there... There are definitely some similarities, but this palette I much prefer. I like the metallics in here across the board. There's not one that's bad, and all the mattes perform really well. This one, I would say all the mattes perform well, but some of them are a little dusty, not to where they're gonna be patchy, but they will require just a little bit more building. I would definitely suggest using this palette on an unset eye. I feel like I got really great looks out of it. I really, really enjoyed the first look with this shade right here, which to me is a little bit more special in the realm of Too Faced, and I didn't have any issues with that. It was more so the darker shades that when you start to layer them, they can lose some of the impact. So definitely go onto an unset eye. I think that if you have a set primer, you'll have more struggle trying to get the pigmentation. But like I said, they're not patchy or anything like that. It's just some of them require a little bit more building. And then it, when we talk about the metallics, these two, the ones that are more marbleized, are beautiful. You can put these on with any brush and it's gonna be easy. They go on, they're pigmented, they're gorgeous. You can use your finger, have a little bit more impact, and you can use them wet and have even more than that. But these two, I found them to be a little bit drier. These I have to build up. I don't have to build up these other two. I just liked the effect of them. These two I had to build them up. I don't know if they're just harder pressed in there or if they are just a little bit drier. Those build up or use them wet or possibly with your finger, but these are smaller pans. So if you have nails, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Overall, I really like the palette. 
I, again, I really love the bronzy look that I did and I really like pink as well, but I have a ton of pink. If I was gonna get this palette just for the pink, I probably wouldn't do it. I really, I would go for my Juicy palette or the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk over this but I can't deny the cuteness factor. Anywho, final thoughts, I think it's a good palette. I don't think it's their best, but I don't think it's bad either, and I enjoyed using it. If you wanna see some comparisons, just stay tuned till after I say goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.